Bird calls. There's a billion of them. Some are better than others. And by the end of this video, you'll have learned to appreciate them, like classical music or a fine grape juice. Ah, the Sora. Classic little railbird. Cute, round, tiny mask. Couldn't ask for more. When startled, the Sora makes a pretty surprising sound. <laughs> what are you, a horse? Come on, buddy. If you're hoping to spot a Sora, head outside in the early morning or late evening. That bone-chilling howl was that of the common loon, also known as the loony. Loons are named as such because they're insane. That's actually not true. There's a theory that it comes from the old English word loom, but nobody knows for sure. It's a mystery, just like the mystery of where it hides its victims. Male loons have their own signature yodel that acts as a territory marker. It's a convenient way to tell other male loons in the area, get out while you still can. That thick droplet sound comes from the American bittern, otherwise known as the stake driver, water belcher, mire drum, or thunder pumper. I tried for years to get people to call me that. The sound of the laughing kookaburra echoes through the open forests and woodlands of Australia. This quirky bird holds major cultural significance in Aboriginal Australian folklore, where some stories suggest it was the kookaburra's laughter that notified spirits to light up the sun and bring life to the land. And as you can see, they uh, may have lit it up a little too much. All right, what's next? <laughs> no, no, you stay over there. Oh, the elf owl, so cute. Thank you for being the tiniest owl in the world, it's adorable. <laughs> Who's there? All right, the guttural croaks of the willow ptarmigan. Males use these calls to attract mates, even engaging in vocal duels with rivals. Well, there's a singing competition I'd pay to see. Ooh, the leech's storm petrel. These birds would make great sailor sidekicks. They spend most of their lives at sea, only returning to land to mate. You can find them across the North Atlantic and North Pacific Oceans, usually nesting in burrows or crevices. All right, you're now fully prepared to appreciate those funky birdie tunes. Grab a pair of binoculars, get outside, and let your bird-watching journey begin with a whole new group of feathered friends. Yes, even the barn owl.